All right, boys, we're back. Another one. I couldn't let this one up. You guys can see already the fucking title. Stupid as shit. These guys look were stupid. They look like they're from Duck Dynasty, but they're 14 years old. And uh, they're claiming a four days they're able to make a million dollars. Let's see if they're selling us anything. I got one, two, three. So right off the bat, we got uh, tons of flexing here. You know, you got the what looks like a Richard Milley knockoff. Looks like they're driving a thousand dollar go kart down the road, or uh, should I should, should, should I say a, a dune buggy? Um, and it looks like they've made a uh, fake demo account that started with fifty thousand uh, dollars, and they've actually lost a little bit, and then. Uh, as you can see, uh, they only started recording this and they only put in the um, video clips uh, where they started making money. So they actually started it off on a 4% uh, drawdown because they started with uh, $50,000, lost 4%, and now they're just cutting that bit out. Great start. Hi, my name's Jamie. I'm Ollie. And this will probably be the most- Yeah, exactly what I said, man. These guys are out in the middle of the bush with a, with a Duck Dynasty looking hat here. This is the thing, if I'm- able to make a million dollars in a fucking week that means i've done it before like if i'm making a video about how to make a million dollars in a week it means i've done it before this is not the first time i've done it it seems a little bit fishy that they're not sitting in a fucking bugatti or a lambo or something this will probably be the most insane account flip you will ever see on youtube four days we took this account from 10k to a million and then on the fifth day we traded nfp and we grew it some more this was insane. It was crazy, wasn't it? Our <laughs> hearts crazy. were going. It's crazy that your hearts go so fucking mad when you're playing with demo money, eh? We're going mad, and I think you're gonna enjoy this video. It was an absolute banger. Yeah, there you go. Everything, everything you need to know, right in the description on how to give them money. Now, guys, uh, just to be clear here, I'm not knocking selling shit. Like, if you're a trader and you make a little bit of money, go ahead, sell some courses. Go ahead, sell some signals, whatever, like that. What I'm saying is making these ludicrous fucking claims saying you can make a million dollars in a week from whatever account size really doesn't matter because they've made a million dollars right and then promoting some sort of service like it makes absolutely no it's astronomical amount of stupidness so we've deposited the ten thousand now into the account it's currently sunday as you can see there you go there's a deposit ready to start trading tomorrow on monday as you can see live account so yeah let's begin tomorrow and let's smash it with so we're about to place the first trade on the account so in case you guys don't know uh having a live account uh it doesn't mean much you can pay uh brokers to be able to do this for you and then you can just edit the live account as you can see from the deposit yesterday still at ten thousand. so we're about to place the first trade on euro usd it's gonna be a sell so let's go on with it so we're going to use 40 lots. Market might be slow today because it's a Monday also. So now 40 lots for a $10,000 account seems a little bit high, but it's nothing too, too ridiculous. So stop 760. Now, uh, my quick uh, glance at that chart that he's pulling up there, if, if we just break this down and we look back at it for a second here, it's broken the structure to the downside uh, in that massive, uh, massive dump, but then it's had a very, very strong rally back up to the upside and it's actually starting to close back within that range. So by definition, this is a swing failure pattern and it is now in an uptrend going back to the top of the range. He is in the middle of the range in an uptrend, which makes no sense to short it. It would make more sense actually to buy this and then let it go to the top of the range. All right, there we go. We're in first trade. So it's Monday now, uh, 4th of July. So that's why the market might be slow because it's uh, US Independence Day. So hopefully we'll see some movement though, but let's see how it goes. So we're about to close out the first trade, great first trade, up 70% on the first trade, just under. So let's close out. So the problem, uh, the other problem I see here is uh, he hasn't seemed to have put any reasoning behind why he was taking that short. All I can see is he made a dumb decision and then let it run. Uh, we're not actually seeing what the chart looked like. 
I wonder if we can actually pull up the date at which he did this. Yeah, so uh, guys, uh, when we're looking at this, we can see on the four hour, definitely a swing failure pattern. You can see that sweep of the lows and then we're coming back up. It's very, very probable. I mean, there should be a bounce off of that level there, which is where he's roughly shorting. I believe he shorted around here. He probably went into a little bit of a drawdown, but it's bouncing off that four hour untested level and then continuation downside. Incredibly, incredibly risky trade, uh, but you can see he let that run for probably about a day uh, and it just completely fucking made tons of money. That's why uh, he really over over risked uh, because if it had gone to the upside, he would have lost the entire account. Uh, the thing to note though, is when we were looking at his chart, he shorted right around here, uh, which made no sense because there was no actual confirmation and it, we weren't even at the level of interest yet. This was the level of interest that we wanted to short off of. Uh, and then we wanted to uh, probably a look at a different time frame and just kind of look for some confirmation uh, that that is going to actually be a rejection level. So if we looked at like a five minute or something like this, you can see the distribution in that zone very clearly ranging. Uh, we see some sweeps and then the breakdown. You could even get in back over here on the retest if you were using a higher time frame. He blindly entered, which is a terrible, terrible way uh, to trade. Yeah, 16K, so 60 dot buy. Stop loss is going to be at 39.40. There you go, 39.40, about to buy it. 39, I'll put 30 actually. Right, All right, we're in. There we go, let's see how this goes. So we placed that trade earlier and it is currently Independence Day still, so the market actually closes early. So because of that, it closed at like 4 p.m. So now we have to wait till 11 p.m., which is in about an hour from now, to see what happens. So I'll keep you updated. Yeah, absolutely. What I'm seeing here is doing 100 lots on, what is this, uh, a $17,000 account now. Uh, the risk management here is absolutely... Uh, So again, we can see how that trade fucking panned out. There was a giant spike in one direction and he just closed it. What, what else do I have to say? So we closed US 30 last night. Nice 7.8K profit on it. Lovely stuff. It was really late, so I, didn't, uh, I think I screen recorded. 24K, so just under 150% growth on the account. It's currently Tuesday. So we're about to sell Euro US. So I'm wondering, he did show the live account at the very beginning, uh, but he's not showing the live account as we're growing the account. Um, so I wonder if he was just dumb enough to just show the live account showing that he had $10,000. I wonder if we'll actually see that it is still a live account. Just remember, if it is showing a live account, it still does not mean it's real money. See, so I'll stop loss at... And so, right, we're in. Let's see how this plays out. So I'm not, I'm not fucking with his logic here. He could know something that I don't know. But what I'm saying is his trades are inconsistent. There's no pattern of logic here. Good traders follow what they know. They don't just go randomly into different things. They do what they're best at. There's very few traders in the world that do multiple trading strategies in one particular day. We've got a strong dollar today, so hopefully we see some nice movement we already have through London session, so let's hopefully this can this trade can double the account again. I'll keep you updated though anyway. So we're currently up twenty one thousand on this trade. We're about to move stop loss to break even. So Hopefully it can keep dropping. So he's moving the stop loss break even. It looks about 1.5 R. Perfectly fair, I suppose, to move to break even. In in a dump like that, you really don't want it to retrace that hard. And let's say, let's get to about 60K from this trade, hopefully. So we'll be up then. Uh, what's that? 500%. So that'll be nice. 
So it's dropping more. Let's move Solos break even now. This is going to be a trend throughout the whole video. I have a feeling we're not going to have to watch the whole video. This is a very long video. He's not putting any logic behind any of his actions. He's not looking at anything. He's just looking at the profit, right? He says, oh, that'd be really nice if it goes to 60K. No, we're not... We're, we're 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 talking in terms of R. We're talking in terms of structure. That's how a real trader talks. We're talking in terms of where are the levels of interest, right? The points of interest that we want to be taking profit on. Um, he's just saying, oh, I hope it doubles the account. Oh, I hope it triples the account, right? It doesn't make any sense. Why free? Like the big thing here that I'm seeing is he's look. He's not even looking to the left. We see a massive dump, and he's just sold on that dump and we're not even looking to the left to see where there's a possible buying area 380 modify i'm done at 25k right now let's go great trade it's dropping hard it's just falling off the screen there <laughs> let's go let's see how this goes Beautiful trade. We're about to close out the second one. We're 14k. So, bang. First one hit 40k. That one's 15k. Yeah, man. This suit's really starting to fucking piss me off. Like, I've done lots of reaction videos like this before in the past. And it's all the same bullshit. It's some fucking 17 year old kid that doesn't even know how to look at a chart. And he's just like, okay, we'll buy and sell here randomly. And then eventually they make tons of money on a demo account and then they post it on YouTube and then they get lots of views. I mean, if you look at this guy's subscriber account, I think people are really catching on that this is bullshit. A lot of people are viewing this and they're not even subscribing because he's a fucking stupid. Today, dollar's absolutely strengthening like crazy. So bullish today. So, yeah, we're at 80k though nearly. So, great start. We've got still tomorrow, next day. So three more days, we've got till Friday. And uh, Jamie's obviously taking over on Thursday. And I'm doing tomorrow and then Jamie starts Thursday and Friday. See, holy shit, Jamie's taking over. You got, you're got you giving your friend your fucking account? Since when have you ever heard of a trader trusting another trader with their account? If you're a profitable trader, why would you give your money to somebody else? It doesn't make sense. Why would you just say, okay, we're only working two days this week. My friend will work the rest. Yeah. It's going well, though. So we did end up trading today after that trade for earlier. As you can see there. Not focus. There we go. 78,583 in the balance. So I didn't want to trade because it was too volatile and it's an account flip so if one trade goes wrong it kind of ruins the whole challenge so yeah so we'll get in again tomorrow and let's smash it so guys it's now wednesday we're about to place the first trade of the day as you can see jamie takes over tomorrow on thursday so i'm going to do my best to take this account as far as i can today so 78,000 still in the balance. So we're about to place the first trade on EURUSD. It's gonna be a sell. So this is the logic here, boys. You wake up in the day, you look what direction the, the, the chart is going, which if, if we look at the chart right now, from July 4th, through all throughout July, the Euro just dropped, right? So no wonder he was able to flip it so easily. His trading strategy is he wakes up in the day, he looks at the one hour and he says, okay, on the left side of my phone, is it higher or lower than the current price? Oh, it was higher, right? I guess that means it's in a downtrend and now the price is lower, so we're gonna sell at the very open. That's the strategy, boys. I should, I should market this. Brand new strategy coming on Hunter FX. It's called left side of the chart. We simply just buy or sell on the market open. Easy peasy, make a million dollars. We'll start with 100 lots, see how much free margin we have left. Stop loss 230. Right, we're in the first one. Yeah, we're good to go another two times. So, 1.02, 2.30, sell. Already in profit. And then one more time, quick. Right, there we go. We're in. Let's see how we play out. And hopefully it boosts the account to well over 100,000 on these. So, update on the trade, we're currently up 9,000, 
So we did have a take profit on at 1.01600, but it was a few like down here, but it was a few pips off. So oh there we go, it's a nice little drop now, 16,000. So hopefully we can see it come back down and hit with take profit. If not, we'll probably close out early, but let's hope for a take profit on this. I'll keep you updated anyway. So we're going to close out of the trade now. Get out of here. Stupid cat. You peed on my clothes the other day. How dare you? Motherfucker keeps peeing on my shit. We have the profit right now. So we're pissed to just over 127k. So let's close out now. Right, there we go. I can't watch 30 minutes of these fuck stupid cards talk about how smart they are. He's making some fucking poverty eggs here. Fucking piece of dried ass toast with some shitty cage cage raised uh, chickens and a squirt of ketchup. This is garbage, dude. Like, yeah, honestly, this is crazy. crazy. Like, it's four years I've trading this week, innit? And we've what just. What was it? Was it Wednesday? First, Wednesday, uh, I think. Wednesday. Well, when it was. Uh... What's the date now? Eight. So yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. All right, yeah. So at the very end, they're basically just fucking jerking each other off, telling each other how good they are. These boys haven't put any effort in their life. Guys, this is fucking that Ed's video again. Uh, those 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 other like UK guys that flipped accounts uh, that ended up kind of scamming everyone and and having no actual skill but selling signals at the end. Guys, this is Hunter FX. I don't sell shit anymore. I used to in the past, but now I actually make money made money in the past just not as good now i actually make good money and i don't need to sell you guys as a backup <laughs> that's all i gotta say guys fucking don't buy shit from nobody learn for yourself i'll see you guys next time